Hey guys, Jester MX6 here, and I'm back for another hardcore Minecraft episode. Uh, looks like it's night time, so we're gonna sleep so that I can head back out for the day. Alright, got that taken care of here. Let's, uh, let's head out this way into the forest. And, oh god! Oh, not now, not now! Oh jeez, there's a creeper! Ah! So soon? Really? So soon? Alright, well, that took care of that. Uh, let's put a little bit of dirt here because I don't want to have to fight this hole if I have to run from something again. Ah! Still getting used to this new mouse. Uh, mini mouse review. The Razer Tron Legacy, or whatever mouse that I, that uh, Razer has released, so not worth the money. Um, it's cool to have, but it's so not ah, so not worth the uh, ah crappy reaction. Oh shoot! Ah! Oh no, there's another one. Oh, I'm so stuck. I'm so stuck. Oh. Damn this hardcore thing. You have to get further away from them for them to not blow up in your face now. Lord. Alright. Adding uh, dirt so did not help. Like, not even a little bit. We're gonna add dirt to fill this in. I don't think anything can really spawn down there, but just in case. Oh, am I really out of dirt? How does that even work? Like, they blew up so much dirt in this area. How does that even happen? Okay, well, let's just dig it out of here. Uh, I don't have a shovel. Let's go make a shovel. Whew, what a morning. Take a quick nap in Minecraft and... Wake up to a bunch of creepers. That's enough. Let's go back in here. Anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, Razer Tron Mouse. Looks cool. Has a little bit of a, like, nerd awesome factor to it. Definitely not, uh... Not a good mouse to have. The performance is wonderful. I will say this. And uh, people complain about Razer mice all the time. Or mouses, as it technically is, since it's a computer peripheral. Uh, you don't believe me? Look it up. Um, people complain about Razer products all the time, and I've honestly had a bunch of them and never had a problem. Uh, the only times I've gotten different ones is because I felt like getting something different. I've never had to replace a mouse. Uh, the last mouse I had that was acting up was a Razer mouse, and I found out it was acting up because uh, I had some funky drivers installed on Windows 7. So, definitely not the mouse's fault. For anyone who says Razer is crap, I think they've just got a string of bad luck. Which happens, I understand that, and that can influence your brand loyalty. But uh, personally, I have not had any problems with the Razer, and I think they're just fine. So, uh, we need some food. Oh, back to my original statement. Don't get this mouse. The, uh... Ah! Shoot. Didn't mean to fall there. The, uh... Side buttons are exactly where you would normally have your thumb to hold the mouse. So, if you grab your mouse in a fit of rage to lift it up so that you don't die, so that you can move in a complete circle or something of that nature, you end up pushing the back button, and it's really annoying. I uh, disabled... The software that comes with the mouse is actually fantastic, so I disabled the side button, um, and only enabled the top side button as the back button, because that one's not where I keep my thumb all the time, and uh, the right hand, or the right side buttons, are by default to change, uh, increase and decrease the uh, DPI of the mouse, which is a really cool feature to have if the buttons aren't in a spot that you squeeze your mouse all the time. 
Oh look, tons of pigs. But because it is in a spot where you uh, squeeze the mouse all the time, they're constantly raising and lowering the bitrate of your mouse. Or, uh, sorry, DPI of your mouse. And it causes all sorts of problems, especially when you're just like in Windows or if you're editing a video or a picture. It ends up, uh, you know, if you move your mouse like a small fraction of a centimeter, which I suppose would be a millimeter, on your mouse pad, and because you accidentally bumped your mouse and turned it up to like 6,000 DPI, suddenly your mouse is across the screen and whatever you were editing is now all uh, muckered up because you raised the DPI on your mouse by accident. So, I would recommend not buying the mouse uh, if you're looking for an actual quality gaming uh, peripheral. As a novelty item, I think it's great. Uh, whoa, that could have been bad. I forgot about this. Uh, yeah, I really actually think it's kind of cool. It's got lights all over it. Uh, it even has an underglow light. It has a startup sound, which sounds like a cheap child's toy, I'll admit. But it is still awesome because it's Tron. And, well, that just makes it awesome in my mind. What's up here? Oh god, that white thing. I thought it was a skeleton for a second. Uh, I don't see anything special over there. Let's head back uh, and prep to go down. We're going to try and head downward and see if we can get into some trouble. This is hardcore mode, and I should not be pussyfooting it around, I think is that's the correct term. Uh, I should be attempting to... Yeah, like this is where I need to go. I need to go down here and see what I can find. So that's what we're going to do. And I think we're going to do that in this episode. So let's get over here and... Oh, no, 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 get out of the water. Seriously, get out of the water. There. I'm going to cook the stuff I have for food and eat it because I'm already low on food. And if that takes too long, I will... Oh, look, I have cooked chicken. Good. Well, let's put another one here. Oh, I already had a cooked chicken with me. Didn't even realize that. Alright, now that's taken care of. I'm also going to cook this ham. Uh, let's build a chest. I definitely need a chest. I really want to put some more torches in this room just to bug one of my friends. Uh, but I won't, Paul, so don't worry. I'm not that mean. Uh, I'm not going to take any of this stuff with me. Well, I am, but I want to start like with an empty inventory so that I can plan this out a tad better. Okay, obviously I want my torches and my coal. We'll take all my tools, because you never know. I'll take... No, let's not take both kinds of wood. Let's just take this and my planks. We'll take the cobble. I don't really need the glass. We're going to use that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make any paper. We'll take the feathers, flint, and the one arrow, just in case we find... Ha, <laughs> I didn't put any coal in the furnace. Derp de derp. Uh, just in case we find a spider, and I can get some string off it. So, in, in case that's an option here, we will take the... Uh, arrow that I have, and the flint and feather. Let's survey this area a little bit. There's really nothing else to do here. I mean, it's a really nice area if I was looking for a long-term home, but as this is hardcore mode, I don't really want to spend too much time in one area, because the whole point is that I want to see as much of the world as I can, because when I die, it's gone. So, now that the chicken's cooked, let's put our pork chop in here and get that cooking. We'll take a quick glance across the river and see if I can find anything to eat. I see some sheep, but nothing uh, 
Nothing with any meat. So, we'll head back in here. I'm not getting very good... Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Ah, there. I'm not getting a very good... Oh, I wonder if an Enderman stole that. Aw, oh, mean Enderman. I'm not getting a very good frame rate this round. I don't know why. Uh, I've got it set to record at 60 FPS, but I'm not getting... Like, if I move around and stuff and go outside, I'm getting close to 30, which is not typical for my system. So I don't really know what's going on. Um, going to make... Oh, I guess I don't need that. I'm going to make some sticks so that I can make some more torches before I descend. And then I'm also going to make some uh what's the word I'm looking for? Wow, I really just lost my train of thought. Oh, pickaxes. Durr. Because I'm only got one there and uh I'll take a couple with me. And we'll stack them this away. Let's take my toolbox with me. Oh, and it's night time. Do we want to descend at night? No. I would rather not worry about things attacking me from behind. So we're going to uh, grab some of this gravel and block myself in and take a nap. And when we wake up, we will head down. Down, down, to down, 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 down. Alright. Take the gravel with me. Not with me, but... I'm going to open this area up so that when I come back here, I don't have to worry about it. Put the gravel back. I uh, got the flint and feathers and my arrow. I think we're good to go. Um, I don't have much stone, but we're getting, we'll be getting a bunch when we head down. So... Uh, lesson learned. Let's look around for creepers. Don't see any here. Alright. We're gonna find a way into this... Whoa, chunk, like, rendering problem. We're gonna find a way into this cavern without just jumping off, because that doesn't seem like a smart... a smart idea. And I really don't know if this is gonna go anywhere. But... I don't want to just jump in willy-nilly, because that is just suicide. So, let's uh, uh, use my dirt and do a little bit of uh, platform-ish things. Because I feel like there should be a way down if we head this direction. You never know. I could be wrong, but at least we're doing something besides... Oh, God. Sitting on our bottoms. Uh, there's a way in there. Let's head around this hill and head down from here. I don't have anything to make a bucket. Oh, there's some... Skeletal remains. More arrows. Yes, please. We're heading up higher before going down lower, and that's still not what I'm trying to accomplish here. So, oh god! Oh, I almost just lost it right there. Okay, yeah, it gets pretty dark, and I see iron down there, so... None of this looks like an area that I can just dig straight down, because I will eventually fall. Um, Man, it's a long way down. This appears to be a fairly safe area to dig straight down from, though. Because I'll only fall a few blocks down there, it looks like. So, let's just head down. This could be one of the stupidest things I've done in the history of my Minecraft videos. Nope, see, that wasn't so bad. Awesome. Alright, and there's some chickens down here to greet me. Oh, and a lot of darkness. Well, let's get the iron, because one of the things I'll do is get myself a stove or furnace so that I can smelt this stuff. We'll just 
get all this stuff out of the way here. Oh, I didn't bring my bed. Well, it's not going to matter, really. I can always make a bed. I just got to surface and find a sheep. I'm making it a point to gather this. Oh, God, that scared me. I'm making it a point to gather this coal because I've complained in the past about never having enough coal, but I always walk by pockets of it when I'm exploring. And I... You know, all these little annoyances that I discuss in my videos come from a friend of mine, uh, Spoonraker. I don't know if that's his screen name on YouTube, but I now find it ironic that all the little annoyances are his annoyances, but whatever. Anyway, um, that's it. Dead end. Uh, let's dig past here and see what we find out. Um... Anyway, I always end up walking by coal. I know it's a problem I have. So, we're, uh... I'm gonna take the coal that I find, as long as I know I need it. I mean, like, right now I have 36 pieces of coal. I'm doing pretty good, at least for a while. But, I'll make it a point to take as much coal as I can, so that I don't run out in the future. And, part of the reason why I place so many torches is because I know in YouTube videos, you can't always see what I see. My monitor is very bright. It's an LED backlit monitor, and uh, or LED LCD monitor, and it's a lot easier for me to see what's going on in the world around me than it is to sh when it shows up on YouTube. So that's why I uh, use so many torches. It used to be because I was afraid of the dark in this game, but anymore, uh, I, I can see fine, and there goes my shovel. And I didn't bring... oh, I did bring my workbench. Let's come back up here and make a shovel. Uh, let's just place it right here. Sticks? No? Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's just make three. Anyway, I place torches so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Like right here, I can see this just fine, but I don't know how it shows up in the YouTube video, so to be on the safe side, I like to place torches down. Um, I'm digging through all this because sometimes dirt leads to a abandoned mining shaft, especially in areas like this, and I'm never lucky enough to just stumble into one, but I'm hoping that in one of these videos I will. I know I wanted to in my regular series, but I never actually found one. Um, let's go this way. And the hopes is that I will find one, especially, well, in hardcore mode, it could be detrimental to my health, but, yeah, see, we're just hitting the bottom again. This is no good. I've hit another dead end. Let's go back up and head the other direction. I really didn't mean for this episode to be so boring, but... There's really nothing going. Oh, you're just a chicken. There's really nothing going on. And what's down here? Oh, this is where I got the coal from. Yeah, there's really nothing going on, and it's kind of making me sad. Get out of my way, chicken. See, like all this dirt here, I don't really want to dig through it because it just looks like there shouldn't be anything. See, this whole thing was a waste of time. There's nothing down here. Ugh. Alright, well, we've got 60-some dirt. Let's just platform our way back up in this spot and call it good. Uh, something just laid an egg. There it is. I see the chicken. Okay. Well, I guess we're off to search again for somewhere to explore. Oh, that didn't sound good. I don't know what that means, though. I used to think that sound meant there was a cave nearby, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Oh, 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 unless there's something down here. What have we here? Nothing. And what? Stop getting stuck. What have we down here? Oh, there's some darkness. Uh, this is not a safe spot. Let's open this up a little bit so that I can run if I have to. Do -do -do. A mining we will go. A mining we will go. 
Hi ho. The mining oh. Uh cobblestone? Down here? Oh god. Am I already gonna like die? Ah spiders! Why is it always a spider mine? Oh my god! It's always a spider mine! Good lord! Anyone who's watched my other videos knows it's always a freaking spider mine. Never anything else. Or spider mine. I keep calling it a spider mine. It's always a spider, uh... Dungeon. I can never find anything but these spider dungeons. Ugh! What a pain. No! Come back, torch. Stay here. Stay with me! Don't jump at me, you creepy little thing. And it's hardcore mode, so it takes like ten hits to kill these guys with this sword. Die! Oh god! Die, all of you, die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So many of them. Just non-stop spiders. Oh, and they climb. I forgot they climb. Dag nabbit. Ah, get off of me. Is that all of them? Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to place a torch. Is that enough, or are they still going to spawn? Let's back up a little bit and wait. I hear walking above me. Is it nighttime now? No. I don't know what makes them spawn. Ah, I hear one! Another one spawned. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I think this should keep them from spawning. At least long enough for me to... Oh, I hear a zombie now! Okay. Anything good in here? Some, I don't need that much string. I'll take the buckets and the bread. And the cocoa beans, I guess. More bread, wheat, bucket, iron. Okay. Let's boogie. Oh, it is night time. Oh, wait, no, that's not outside. That's outside. Oh, nope, it's getting dark out. Alright, I guess we're staying in here tonight. Let's get the rest of this iron, and then we'll just stay and cook. Or smelt, rather. Spiders. Why has it always got to be spiders? Ugh. Seriously, and someone just commented on it, like, recently, how any time I find a dungeon, it's always spiders. It's like the game knows I'm playing, and it just spawns spiders everywhere for me. <sighs> Creepy thing. I don't know why I don't just go and destroy the spider spawner. Oh, because all I have is a uh, stone pickaxe, that's why. I don't need that coal, I've got plenty now. Uh, more iron, yes please. Yes, calm music. No more monsters for a bit. Let me get myself situated here. Um, you know what? As crazy as this is, make sure you guys can see all this here. We're going to, uh, that one was a bit unnecessary. I'm going to make my home right here for the night. So, let's dig this area out a little bit. I know I'm right next to the spider spawner, but I've got all the, uh, all the torches there to protect me, so we should be fine. I'll just use dirt here. Oh, and I hear a skeleton outside. Oh, and, well, that sound may mean the dungeon's nearby, but it's because it's right down the road. Okay, got a little camp for now. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode right here and smelt and cook some things. Mostly smelt some things because I don't have anything to cook. And when I come back, we will continue our exploration. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.